Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool coffee table using Ardex feather finished concrete to coat the top. So this is going to be really cool. Check it out. All right, so to make the tabletop, what I did was I cut two boards out of a you know, big sheet of four by eight plywood, or it's not plywood, it's like a wafer board, OSB, because um, it has a nice rough texture that'll hold the concrete. I cut them at 24 by 36. What I'm gonna do is stack them together. They're each five eighths inch thick, so when they're together, it's gonna be one and a quarter inch thick, which would be perfect for um, the concrete table. So I'm gonna glue them together with some, uh, just like uh, construction adhesive, and then I'm gonna put a whole bunch of screws to join them together. So that's what I'm doing next. All right, so as you can see, I just spread that uh, construction adhesive all over this. I used quite a bit, so this thing's definitely not gonna move. And I put it on the rough side. This uh, wood has a, like a smoother side and a rougher side. So I made sure that the rough sides are gonna face each other. And then all I'm doing is I'm gonna stack the other one on top, make sure that the smooth side's facing out, glue it together, and I'm gonna squeeze it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put screws everywhere just to hold it all together into one solid piece. All right, so I got the boards glued and screwed together. You can see I used some sheet metal screws because that's what I had that were inch long. So I had to countersink them a little bit so that the little round heads didn't stick out. I just put 12 in there. And then once it's all said and done, so you can see the, the edges don't quite line up. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut them at one more time and just trim a little off. So what I did was I measured on my saw from the blade over to this edge, which was exactly inch and a half. Then I took this board as kind of like a running fence and I went over inch and five eighths. So I'm actually going to cut one eighth inch off the edge here. And uh, these should be totally even then. And I'll do that to all four edges. And then this thing will be, um, all the edges will totally match and be ready to start sanding and moving on. Right now, check it out. Totally smooth here exactly the same. So I'm going to do that to all the edges and then this thing will be ready to go. All right, so I have the uh, tabletop flipped upside down. As you can see the screws here, they're going to eventually face down. But I want to show you a couple things. We have some layout marks here that are at half inch. This goes all around the perimeter. And what this is, is that the, the top, which is now the bottom here, we're going to have concrete there. It's going to roll over the sides and it's even going to roll under the bottom of the table to this half inch mark. So I'm going to lay some tape here so that we have a crisp line where the uh, concrete will end. Also, I'm going to have to smooth the corners and round them off with a sander, and we'll do that here in a little bit. Okay, the next mark is, you can see it's three inches this way, it's three inches that way. That's the, uh, the structure that's going to go underneath the table. It's going to be like three or four inches deep, and that's where the legs are going to hook to and give the table a little depth. And uh, anyway, I went ahead and I, I drew all these lines so that we can have it all marked out, so that then we can sand. And then uh, we can test fit pieces and make sure they all fit before we move on to the actual finishing with concrete and paint and all that stuff. All right, so I just finished sanding all the edges. I did the top and the bottom edge and the corners here. I just used my little um, orbital sander. Just did it real quick. This uh, OSB board sanded pretty easily. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. You just want it to look pretty good and feel smooth to the touch. Because what we're going to do is when we put that concrete on, we're going to trowel it on. But on the edges, we kind of have to mold it. And if you have a sharp edge, uh, later on when you sand the concrete smooth the you know the edge could show so you want it just to be a nice round reveal everywhere so anyway that's all you got to do all right so if you remember earlier we made the layout lines for the uh, structure that goes underneath to hold the legs so i went ahead and i cut it up and uh, if you look at this wood you can see how gross it is and you probably recognize it if you've seen some of my bathroom videos where i showed the uh, wood we pulled out of the floor is really gross wood but it's still good and usable for this so anyway, i got it all cut up and I just kind of want to show you how I've set it up. These are three and a half inches thick. Um, they're just going to be screwed, two screws here that are going to be countersunk. And the same thing over there on that side. And I'm going to fill them with a little wood filler so they disappear. And then to attach the structure to the table top, what I did is I cut these little pieces here that are six inches long. And it's basically just one of these sliced right in half. Six inches long. I'm going to put two screws to hold it in there. And then I'm also going to put two screws here that will hold it into the top as well. So this way the top and the bottom structure can be taken apart. Okay, the last thing is this board here. And I got one just laying there. But they're actually going to be mounted this way. They're just going to float a little bit underneath the bottom. And this is where the legs 
and the leg brackets are going to support so that way they're hidden um, but it'll give nice support to the whole table so I'm gonna go ahead and attach it all together and I'll show you what it looks like finished all right so I got all the pieces for the leg structure all sanded up and I'm starting to assemble them and I want to show you this real quick it's kind of like a it's like a little cheap cabinet making uh, clamp here and basically it just it's a corner clamp and if you don't have one of these and you plan on building something like this you should get one this is or even a couple of them they're really really handy you can get them for about four bucks maybe it might be five to ten depending on where you live basically this clamps at a 90 degree and it works awesome what you can do then is be able to hold your your joint flush and then be able to put screws in drill holes whatever you want it works really great so I recommend getting one of those all right so now I got the bottom uh, piece all assembled and uh, what we ended up doing was countersinking all these holes all the screws are countersunk in there so we can put some wood filler in there and sand it smooth and everything will totally disappear and it'll look like one solid unit and then the uh, brackets that attach it to the tabletop um, have those mounted. We got screws. We test fitted it, make sure it all holds tight, nice and firm. And then the last thing are these uh, cross braces right here. They are actually the supports for the uh, brackets that hold the legs on. You can see you have the holes mounted here because it, it mounts at an angle. And we sunk that down three quarters of an inch so that the metal bracket will be totally hidden and you won't see it when the table is standing upright. And then one final thing is that once I assembled it all, I took the sander to it and I rounded off all the corners and the edges just to smooth it out a little bit. So now what I can do is once I get the filler in, I'll prime and paint this bottom piece and even the bottom of the table, um, a really cool color, kind of a retro color, and then I'll start working on the concrete top. All right, so now it's time to actually concrete the uh, top of the coffee table. And this is the same process I used when I did the countertops in our kitchen. So if that's why you're watching this video, then this is the part you're interested in. Okay, so right here we have a 10 pound bag of Ardex Feather Finish Concrete. Um, it's just a powder. And as you can see, we used most of it. You probably can't really even see in there. But uh, anyway, when we did our countertops, we used about half this bag. It's a 10 pound bag. Um, you won't need that much for a little coffee table like this. Uh, I don't quite remember how much it was, but it was on Amazon and uh, it was pretty affordable. It's not that expensive. Okay, so then what we did is, like I showed you earlier, we smoothed the edges because we're gonna trowel the concrete up top and we're gonna have to kind of form it into a putty. Once it's, it only has about 15 minutes of working time and once it starts getting close to that 15 minute time, uh, it'll start to harden up. So that's when you wanna actually mold over the edges. And then what I did is we added some uh, masking tape down here to line up to that half inch line that we drew earlier because we're going to mold it and have it slightly come under, but we wanted a kind of a crisp line. Then the other part we'll paint green later. Okay, so then what we're going to do is you mix it one part water to two parts uh, concrete. So we have two cups of water in there and we're going to put four cups of the mix and then uh, use the paddle bit on the drill, mix it up. And then we have about 15 minutes to work with it and trial it on and I'll show you how to trial it next.